Register Phenomena Code 012 Object Class Alpha White Hazards Grouped Hazard Extradimensional Hazard Ideological Hazard Containment Protocols Authority personnel are implanted within the archival staff of the Russian and Japanese Ministries of Defense, and are to conduct regular investigation of any and all physical files related to the Russo-Japanese War that might become duplicated by RPC-012. Digitized copies of all RPC-012 instances are archived on Authority servers at Site-313. In the unlikely event that an instance of RPC-012 is reproduced in a publicly accessible format, online or via physical media, Cover 291-A Fictional Alternate Historical Art Project is to be utilized. As instances of RPC-012 are non-anomalous historical archival documents in and of themselves, any handling of them must abide by the Department of Historical and Pseudo-Historical Studies Archival Collections Management Policy. RPC-012 refers to the anomalous alteration of Japanese and Russian historical records of the Russo-Japanese War to reflect an historical scenario in which the Russians won that conflict through anomalous and apparently divine means. RPC-012 occurs in the presence of any number of documents currently controlled by active members of the archival staff of the armed forces of Russia and Japan, but not in civilian-held records in those countries, or military records belonging to any countries other than Russia and Japan. RPC-012 manifests itself by spatially displacing pre-existing Russo-Japanese war documents to other locations in adjacent archival spaces while simultaneously filing the space occupied by the original document with a duplicate that is nearly always physically, materially, and chemically identical in all ways save the modification of its informational content. The creation of these duplicates is instantaneous and generally produces no external change in the document, preserving the same exterior labels or storage media a document might be contained in. RPC-012 only affects physical paper documents, including photographs dating from the 8th of February 1904 to the 5th of September 1905. Original film negatives, audio recordings, and digital files from within this time period are unaffected, as are documents relating to the Russo-Japanese War written before or after this period. Document RPC-012-312 the following document displays the telegram sent by General Oleske Kuropotkin following his retreat from Liaoyang on the 7th of September. The original telegram describes Russian forces making a victorious retreat from the city following its partial encirclement by the Japanese. Japanese en route retreating past Aping. Severe losses. Victory by grace of Saint Alexander and Saint Demetrius. In the name of God, victory. Document RPC-012-788 The original document, dated January 30, 1905, is from a Russian corporal present at the Battle of Sendepu to his mother. It describes the soldiers' misery at the failed Russian attack on Japanese lines, and laments the death of one Sergeant K.S. Chotkin, a close friend of his. The original document bears several heavily censored sections, not present in the RPC-012 instance. I have written before to you of Sergeant Chotkin, who has often had occasion to share his tobacco with me. I believe him to be no great soldier, but a kind and godly man who treats his subordinates with the respect and dignity that is so often lacking in this army. When the call to charge came, he was praying quietly beside me, and even in the depths of my fear I sensed a tension from him that I had never noticed before. Chotkin is a smiling and cheerful sort, even in the midst of the mud and blood but today he was grim. The whistle blew down the line and we ran forwards together, but as we did I saw a sight I could barely countenance. Mother, for the sergeant's bayonet glowed with a golden flame, and about him I saw a radiance, as if the very air was a light. I know how unlikely it sounds, Mother, but I swear to you that as he ran through the storm of shell fire and bullets, the shots of the enemy melted before they could touch him. A man tried to bayonet him and simply burst into flames, as if he had been doused in oil. 
Through it all, I felt myself drawn along, like the little ducks who swim the waterfall on the hill above the old mill. I still have no clear recollection of the battle itself, but mother, I swear to you, when all was done and the Orientals were running, the clouds opened and the sun warmed us, and we realized that of the whole platoon, no, maybe even the whole regiment, not one of us had been injured. They say the Japanese might even be pulling out of Manchuria entirely. Can you imagine? Document RPC-012-112 Original document is a transcript of Russian Baltic Fleet radio communications during the Battle of Tsushima, 27th to the 28th of May 1905. Original mentions loss of several Russian ships, notably Aslata and Borodino. Unlike other instances of RPC-012, the replaced document does away with much of the original format. Later pages of the document appear to be handwritten on vellum instead of the original paper, and in several areas the original black typewriter ink is replaced with a mixture of powdered gold and human blood. Japanese flagship sunk. Stop. Japanese crews throw themselves into the sea at the Splendor. Stop. We ride the waves on wings of heavenly light of men. Our hull is the shield of the Lord. Stop. Metropolitan Bogovolansky appeared upon the bow spirit with blood on its palms and side and guided the guns by hand. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. Amen. We are the Lord and He is us. Amen. <laughs>